Coming up, we build stuff. How do you open this? Ow, my fingers! Parkour. Come on, Batman. I walk over a man and unexpected leaks. It's peeing on my desk! Hello and welcome to M539 Constructions. That's right, in this episode we are not fixing broken junk. Although this one is fixed, except it's not. The AC is not working and it's 30 degrees outside, bastard. But a lot of stuff needs to be built in the workshop, so let's get to it. First piece of equipment for the workshop, and these are shelves, I just bought them, used, 450 euros. Knew they're normally a lot more money, so that was a decent deal and they're in decent condition. So the length wise, they're four meters, height four meters as well. And the first row, it's gonna serve as a table. Everything above, it's going to be shelves for storage and stuff. All right, now we're gonna quickly assemble the racks. Yep, that one is in. What operation this is. Yeah, I think this is a bit high, but kick it. <laughs> Special tool. The touring it's earning its keep today. Got some wood from the software store. Now we need to unload it and start assembling the puzzle. Before I start laying them down, I need to push the rack all the way to the wall, but it's really high and the roof has a slope, so it cannot fit. And I'm gonna chop off that corner over there and then I can push it all the way in. <clears throat> Got my sozzle here, need electricity. Will it reach? Well, let's find out. Oh, eye protection. Important to protect your eyes. One cut metal. Oh, such a Spider-Man. I also need ear protection. And a hat. Now I'm ready. That'll do it. I did clip the wall, but you know, all is good. <sighs> I'm such a professional. There's water inside this thing. How do I take it out? <laughs> Whatever. So now it'll go all the way to the back. Where my phone at? The wood that I got, it's expensive. And I don't know what kind of type of wood it is. The guy told me it's good for the tables. It is 27 millimeters thick. So it seems sturdy enough for the stuff that I'll be doing. Doesn't need to be crazy strong because the heaviest thing I'm gonna put on it is what? Maybe a cylinder head. So I'm not gonna put like an engine on it or something like that. I mean, parts of the engine. So for that, it'll do just fine. Now I'm gonna put them all in, then I'm gonna bolt them to the beam. And then I also ordered aluminum plates, two millimeter thick, and that's gonna come on top because I don't wanna work on wood. It is quite nice working on the wood, but this is gonna look horrible after a while, after it absorbs all of the oils and stuff that come of the engine. So I put aluminum plates on the old tables over there and that's been working a cheat because you can just clean them up real easily and Continue with what you're doing. I already measured them and the length of the table is 3.9 meters. That will be 186 feet. Pretty sure that's correct. I am a quite mathematician. That one I need to shorten a little bit, but that's pretty much how it's going to look. And now I'm thinking maybe this is a bit too high. I'm gonna go grab my chair. This is my tiny chair in its highest position. And this is, well, not good. That's too high, but I'm thinking a notch lower than this. And then I'm planning to put a board here on the back so I can attach the tools. Cause this wall, it's pretty crappy. It's basically sand. So if I try to drill into it, it's just falling apart and I need to drill really deep into it to attach something. My Land Rovers don't want me to do that. So I'm gonna be putting a beam here. So we just reshuffled the beams, the pillars, whatever they are. And this one is really good height, so I'm not gonna hit my head. And the shelf 
can come here. So the height of the table is now 94 centimeters, which is I think perfect height for working when standing for a human of my size and also pretty good when sitting. So I'm happy with that. In line there, in line here. Good, now I can drill the holes. So I'm just gonna do two bolts here, two bolts here, two bolts here, and same on the back. Then this one I'll do a bit later. This is the bolt that I'm gonna use to secure the wood. Doesn't need to be strong, it just needs to keep wood in place. So this is gonna go all the way into the wood. I'm gonna drill a bigger hole so it's flat. Do I even have wood drills? No, the normal ones will work as well. Last thing to do is to drill a bit bigger hole here so this thing can fit all the way in and be flush. That is nice and flush. Washer and a nut. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut this off so it's flush and I can't hurt my knees. Muy excelente. All right, the top of the table is more or less done. It's easy to take apart, it's easy to put together. Nothing complicated. Simplicity is the key here. But I think that I'm going to do later because I first want to do the plate on the back so I can attach the tools. So I shortened the bolt and now I can use this. This is round so I can't cut myself. And I think that is a good idea. I think that is brilliant. So that way this is round and no one can hurt themselves. So I'm gonna do that for the whole front ones. The back doesn't matter because you can't really reach that. Perfect, that is done. Lovely progress thus far. Come on, strong man. Look at that. Bonjour, day two. I went to the software store again and got some wood, dropped more dinero. Got some plastic baskets. Not sure why, but I have a feeling they'll come in handy. Got some cables, bolts, nuts. This is getting expensive. It really is. Let's unload this stuff. The touring, it's a work horse, except it's not. It's just the bastard that takes my money and I'm the horse. But I love it. It does everything I tell it. OSB. Do you call it in English that as well? <laughs> Alrighty, before we proceed with the rack and the wood, you gotta do something about lighting in here. Because right now it feels like I'm wearing sunglasses constantly. I mean, I am, but that's besides the point. That light over there is what Germans call pathetic. That will be pathetic in English. So I'm gonna show you what flavor of lights I went with, and we're gonna slap one over there. As you can imagine, having good lights is crucial. After doing a bit of research, I ended up with these. I got these on Amazon and they are not cheap, 90 euros each. And this is 150 watts and the color temperature is 5,000 to 5,500 Kevins. And yes, I know it's Kelvins, but it's always fun to confuse people. I tried the 6,000 one and that's really bluish. Didn't like that because it can get really tiring for your eyes. The 4,300 one that's yellowish didn't like that either. And the 5,000 Kevins, that's kind of in the middle because it's pure white. So I like that. I got five of these for now. I think I'm gonna need six. And they're 21,000 lumens in comparison to the, what's on the ceiling right now, those pathetic lights. That's, I think, less than 5,000 lumens. So this should light up this place 
pretty nicely. Don't really have a plan where I'm gonna attach them. For now, I'm just gonna attach one here above so we have good lighting in this corner. And then for the rest, we'll figure it out. <laughs> How do you open this? Oh, I see. Ow, my fingers. I think it's gonna need to be higher than that. Is that high enough? To do what I need to do. Yeah, it is. Wow, it's a, quite a drop. If I go down, I'm surely going to break something, so that's great. So, to attach this, we have a hook here, so I need to drill a little bit into the ceiling and then hammer this in. All right, so now we need to precisely measure this. Let's give it a go. Lovely. I mean, if I wanted, I can hang an engine here. Nope, but for not so heavy lamp, it'll do perfectly. So I can either put it on the chain or just a hook. I think for the beginning, we're just gonna use the hook. There you go. And then the hook goes additionally there. Guess as a safety measure or whatever. Yep. Thank you. And then there was light. I don't know how it's coming out on camera, but the lighting is pretty strong. So when I do three in this row, three over there, it's gonna light up the place pretty nicely. There we are, total darkness. Now the old lights. And now kill that and you get the new one and you can see how much stronger it is. So I think this is gonna be perfect lighting for this shop. Another thing, it doesn't flicker on camera. That was also very important because in the past I did buy some lights and uh, the video would flicker. So these, as far as I can see, do not. So happy with this. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. A proper lunch here, ham and cheese. Now I'm gonna push this back and then I can put plates here and make shelves. So I'm gonna measure here so I can cut the corner on the board and that's because this wall is not leveled. That's professionally man. I like her glove. Next one. So I'm not gonna use a ton of bolts here to secure it, just one because these are shelves, they just need one bolt so they don't move. And I don't want to put bolts here because then I can butt my head in. Perfect. Oh! It's peeing on my desk! I can't believe I have a leak already and it's not from the roof. Yeah, these bars, full with water. Well, actually the bottom ones didn't have any water, only this one. Whatever, moving on. And that's the first row of storage shelves done. Next, boards for the tools. So let me show you how the board is gonna go. This is the small one, but like this. It is 70 centimeters long. I did not want it to go all the way to the bottom because then I cannot use the space in the back. And this way, this is long enough to attach the tools. And then if I have something longer, or if I want to store something, I can do that here. And I am going to use every single millimeter in this space. Nice and sturdy. I did drill a hole in the wrong place, but we'll cover that up with some gum or electric tape.
What do you think? I think that looks awesome and this was a brilliant idea. Right, now I can push it all the way back to the wall and it can stay there permanently. Then I can secure it, anchor it to the floor. But first, we need to clean up this mess. Gotta vacuum up my Nike. Like new. And with that, it's done. It's time for strawberry dessert. No, I dropped the strawberry. Damn it. Time to start taking things off the wall here. Gonna start with the tool set. There we go. So this tool set I got when I moved to Germany and it's not the cheapest one, but it's not the most expensive one either. It's from BGS, which is German company, but all of it, it's made in China. And for the money, it's pretty decent. I mean, I haven't had any issues. I did replace all of the ratchets with hazard stuff, because if you want good tools, you gotta go with hazard. But other than that, it's quite usable. Like that. That looks pretty good. On to the next. Can attach uh, this one? Brilliant. So next are these, the flimsy ones with this thing on the top, bendable. So this is what I really love when everything is like reachable. So when I'm doing stuff here, I can just grab and reach it. And when I'm working on cars over there, then I'm gonna have a cart for that. But I think I'm gonna call it a day here because it's getting pretty late and I'm pretty tired. Pick it up tomorrow. Bob the Builder construction is continuing and I got a lamp that's gonna go Above the table, it is 6,300 lemons, so it should provide pretty good lighting. Let's bolt it up. It's fun, it's a fairly big table and it's already full of crap. How do you open it? Oh, there's a screw here. I mean, why would anyone put a screw like that here? I honestly do not understand the logic behind this. You sell me the lamp that I need to open to put the cable in and you put... What kind of screw is this? Yeah, I'm just gonna break it. I don't give up. There you go. So here's the moronic screw. Now I need to poke a hole here so we can run the cable inside and link the other one. Put this back. Now we can attach it. Hello. That's beautiful. Proper lighting. And this is neutral white. Now we're going to put up a board here. Right, here's a plank of wood. We got a good deal on this. Only three euros. Cover me in sunshine. I gotta climb up top. Oh. <laughs> See, I should have done this before I. Push the rack all the way to the back, but you know. How do you come down now? It is a bit high to jump. Come on, Batman. Ha! Should start making parkour videos. All right, now I'm gonna plant bog roll here. And the roll of bog roll. There you go. And now this 
I actually love using this stuff, magnetic strip, to hold the tools, a tiny ratchet, and all sorts of extensions. My 10 mil socket. See? Works a treat. So all of the spanners are in order. Fun fact, my favorite screwdriver is this one. And it costs one euro. Bought it in a euro shop. Still use it. Three and a half years ago. It's just so nifty. It fits everywhere. It's nice to hold in the hands. So. Good tools don't need to be expensive. Well, not always. E46 winter tires. It's time to feast. Sizzling. The second lamp. Brilliant. That is one beautifully lit workbench. Captain Fantastic. So I got more of these tool rack thingies. You can buy these on Amazon. They're 30 euros for three. The quality, it's whatever. It's a piece of metal that's painted, so it does the job. There we go. The tiny one. I'm also getting a tool cart from Incredibly Nice Subscriber and Patreon. Very excited about that. Should come in soon. So this is done. Pretty much everything I want on this side of the wall. And these are the tools that I use most commonly. And it's really arranged nicely. I just, I love when everything is like this, you know. You can just grab it, put it back where it belongs. And everything is organized. I don't need to chase tools. It's just perfect for working. Another rack like this, only shorter, is going to come here. And I'm gonna do the same, build a workbench, shelves above, and then I'm gonna put more tools on that side over there. So whatever didn't fit here, like uh, files and stuff, this, that I use sometimes, that's gonna go on that wall over there. The alu plates finally came in after a week and a half. Welcome to another unpacking video. And there we are. Pretty decent packaging, I gotta see. Yes, according to my calculations, this is a perfect fitment. Indidio, two mil thick aluminum. It was very expensive, but this is something you just need. Otherwise this wood, it would look like crap after a while. I mean, it already looks really bad and dirty. And it's been the bird from the shop I bought it from, so I can't cut myself open on the edge. That's kind of important. And also all of the edges and not sharp. So it's user friendly. So to secure it, I'm just gonna drill a bit bigger hole. And then self tap it. My God, it's not kryptonite. I created like a valley there where the self tapper can go. That way it sits flush with the table and nothing is sticking out. Because all that needs to do is just hold the plate in place. Go by hand. That is nice and flush with the table surface. Perfect. Nice and flat. That's one plate in place. Ah, very goodly. So this one I'm gonna have to shorten because it's two meters long and this table it's 3.9. Oh man, which means I'm gonna have to fire up my grinder. my deburring tool. It needs a little bit more. Michael Bublé. Let's deblur the edges. Everything is just full with metal shavings. This here is what we in showbiz call a luxury creeper. Look how big it is. It's the king size model and you can roll around freely on it. I mean, there are some footprints, but ignore that. And I'm gonna keep it. This is gonna come in handy at one point. And then once it's really dirty and you're done rolling around, 
it can turn into an oil catching device because when you work on the engine, you put this under the car, oil is going to drip on it and it's not going to stain your floor. There are so many uses to this thing. I had to go home and shower. I had metal shavings in my earlobes, butt crack. It had to go. But what do you think? My creation. I had an image in my head and I got to admit it turned out better than I was expecting. It's beautiful. One beautiful workbench. All of the tools are superbly organized. You can just grab quickly wherever you need. Once you're done, you put it back in the place where it belongs. Good lighting, nice working height, sturdy table, easy to clean up, plenty of storage underneath and above. I'm loving it. What else do you need? For me, this is perfect. And it was not cheap. It was actually expensive, over a thousand euros, I wanna say. I'll collect all of the bills and put the exact number on the screen. But this is not something you can buy. I did look into it and normally you'd spend 500, 600 euros just on the table and you don't have the tools or storage above. So this is perfect use of space. And it is one of those things, do it once, do it right. Because this is sturdy, durable, there's nothing to wear out. Everything is nuts and bolts. So even if I were to move, I can just disassemble it and take it with me. So expensive, but worth doing. Definitely. And I'd like to think James May would be proud of this. Anyway, I hope this wasn't too boring. It's certainly different than what we normally do on this channel, but it is something that's necessary to do and it's taking quite a lot of my time. So I thought I'd bring you along. So let me know what you think. Was this fun to you or not? In the next episode on the workshop, we got to finish lighting of the wiring, the second rack, more shelves over there and just generally clean up the space in preparation for new lifts. They're coming end of July, beginning of August, we'll see. And that's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video, check out the merchandise. And the next video is going to be on Project Riley. Might be even Project Karlsruhe, we'll see. Adios amigos. Mm -hmm.